Hey there, welcome to Matt Scratch. Well today I want to talk about PT cruisers. And specifically I want to answer the question, are they actually difficult to work on? One of the reasons I started making repair videos on PT cruisers is because I hear a lot of stories about owners being turned down by mechanical shops to do work on their PT cruisers. And uh, I was seeing a lot of these cars being scrapped with uh, relatively minor problems and hearing stories about mechanics saying the timing belt was an unserviceable part and they should just buy a new car and different things like that. So I started making this video series to uh, help owners be able to do their own repairs or be able to um, find honest mechanics or call out the mechanics who are dishonest and uh, and <laughs> run them out of town basically because uh, Nobody should be making you scrap your car over a couple of minor issues. They need to uh, seek a new career if they really are having that much of a struggle to work on this uh, fairly basic car. Um, with the way technology is advancing, I would uh, hazard to guess that almost any uh, 2019 vehicle made is going to be more compact than the engine bay. Um, even cars from this era, a lot of V6 uh Sedans and uh, minivans and stuff were a, a lot more compact in my opinion. I think it's more just the fact that when a car like the PT Cruiser comes along and it has a lot of controversy surrounding it, uh, some mechanics use that as an opportunity to not do a good job. And uh, as evidence of this, I've heard about you know the Chryslers back in the 80s with the 2.2s and stuff that had the major head gasket issues, um, dealer mechanics that replace those head gaskets would do what they called a gasket slide. They'd slide the old one out, slide a new one in, they never cleaned the gasket surface or anything. And the excuse they gave for doing that uh, kind of shoddy work was that that ga head gasket was never going to last anyways. It was a uh, bad engine design and it was destined to fail, so what's the point in putting effort into a quality repair. And I feel like the attitude is very similar with the PT Cruiser. Um, it's just uh, easy for them to write it off to the owners rather than putting a little bit of effort into making a, a quality repair. Um, they'd rather you just sell the car and get whatever car that they enjoy working on. And uh, I'm not speaking from an experience here. I mean, I've owned over 70 cars. I own a lot of cars right now. I, I, I have like a dozen cars. Uh, a couple of Nissans there, an old Buick. I've got an old Lincoln back there. I've got uh, I've got a Ford Super Duty. I have a, a diverse collection of cars and uh, I appreciate all brands. I, uh, I own a couple of Mercedes too. So um, you know, compared to all of that, um, I'm not going to say that this is the easiest car in the world to work on, but it's somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. It's, uh, it's really not something that anybody should be making a big fuss about uh, working on who's a professional mechanic. As far as, uh, like, chassis and suspension, I find the, uh, the front suspension really easy to work on. I owned a Toyota for a while and I had to do front wheel bearings on it and uh, honestly it was uh, I'd rather do about three sets of PT front wheel bearings than have to do another Toyota wheel bearing job so uh, that gives you an indication of how I feel about that and uh, things like struts or a breeze the rear shocks I'm going to be doing a video coming up on them um, like 20 minutes I can swap out a, a pair of rear shocks it's uh, ridiculously easy the watts link everybody complains about uh, takes about uh, 20 minutes half an hour to change out even the dreaded timing belt uh, job that everybody talks about uh, really is not that big of a deal I've done timing belts on Hondas and stuff and I mean it's never a small job doing a timing belt, really. Um, I don't find these worse than anything else. And uh, if you know what you're doing and which parts to take off and when and where to move stuff, um, it's really not a hard job at all. In fact, uh, there again, I'd, uh, I'd prefer to do a timing belt job on one of these and probably a lot of vehicles. 
simply because I know the steps and uh, I don't find it stressful at all. Now I just want to point out something that I think is a factor here. The PT is a very unique vehicle and it's a love it or hate it design but there is a lot of people out there that love it and there has been a resurge of uh, interest in the vehicles and uh, I think some people are not taking into consideration the fact that these vehicles are going to be quite old now and maybe a lot of people who are buying them have never owned a vehicle this old before and they don't understand it when you buy a vehicle this old like this is an 03 and uh, I've just gone through it and I changed the spark plugs, the wires, the, the coil pack, the thermostat, the temperature sensor, the uh, oil pressure sensor, rad cap, somebody else just did the timing belt, water pump, oil seals and motor mounts. Um, I'm having to replace the air conditioning system and uh, I just uh, serviced and flushed the transmission and uh, what else did I do to it? Um, I got to do a four-wheel brake job. I mean this is just this is normal. Um, I've done the same thing to every other car this age that I've bought. Um, I go through and I clean up all the ground points and and flush out the coolant and uh, and uh, change out the brake fluid and all that stuff is just normal stuff that you've got to do when you buy a car this age and uh, it's uh, it works out to be a pretty hefty bill if you're gonna pay somebody to do it and uh, so it would be easy to point the finger and say that's a bad car but no it's just uh, an age appropriate car and that's why you buy them for 2500 bucks rather than uh, 25,000 bucks, you know, you uh, are getting what you pay for, and with that, you're getting uh, probably an ongoing list of repairs. That's uh, typical with older cars. Things wear out over time, and uh, you're going to have to, you know, go through your car and uh, replace things as they wear out. You can, you can go through it like I do and do preventative maintenance and replace stuff periodically, or you can wait for stuff to break down. Um, it's your choice, but it's just part of uh, owning an aging car. The uh, alternative is to go out and buy a brand new one, which comes with a hefty car payment. So uh, I do hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thanks a lot for watching Matt's Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.